Hi, this is Dina with Digital Hotcakes. I am in Pro Show Producer, and I'm going to show you how to create a intro for your school play slideshow or video. And for this example, I'm going to assume that you actually have a video of your school play and that it was shot in widescreen. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure my show is set up for widescreen. Under Show Options, Show Settings, I'm going to make sure the aspect ratio here is set to 16 by 9. Now I'm going to be using some animations off of Home Movie Essentials Volume Number 3, specifically the theater, er, the theater Curtains Open, the Theater Curtains, the Theater Curtain Zoom, and the Broadway Lights. Now we're going to start um, by cre actually putting in a blank slide here. Let's insert a blank slide. We're going to give it a time of one second and we're going to give the transition a time of one second because I want a little um, fade up into, my, into the beginning of the show. And on slide number two, we're going to bring in the Broadway Lights animation. And we want to set the slide time to four seconds. And we're going to double click on the slide to open our slide options. And under Layers, Layer Settings, over here where the aspect says Auto, we actually need to change that to 16 by 9. Um, though we have our show settings set for widescreen, ProShow doesn't always recognize all video files as being 16 by 9, so we need to change that. And by doing that, it put our, our marquee in, within the preview screen. If I, if I put it back here, you can see it's kinda, it kind of looks funny. That's why we, we have to go through that step right there. So let's add our title to our marquee. We'll go under Captions, Caption Settings, and we'll type our title. Okay, and I want this title to be yellow, so I'm going to go under Color Set. I'm going to grab the eyedropper and I'm going to drop it in one of the little yellow lights. There we go. And then we need to position the title in the middle of the marquee. Okay, and then we're done with that slide. And then we need to set this transition here to a cut. So let's do that. Okay, and now in slide three, we're going to drop the theater curtains, just the theater curtains animation. And we're going to set this slide time to three seconds. And we'll double click on it to open slide options because we need to go under our layers, layer settings, and set this aspect to 16 by 9. And once we do that, we're finished with this slide. We'll start our next slide by dropping our, our school play video in. And we'll double click to open us our slide options. Now under layers video settings, you're going to want to check this box that says lock slide time to video link. Now, since I don't actually have a video, this is just a still shot, it won't let me, won't let me um, check that box, but you need to go ahead and do that. Um, for, for my example here, I'm just going to make a, a time. There we go. And we'll go under, go back under layers, and let's add our, our theater curtains open animation. And once again, under Layer Settings, we got to set that aspect to 16 by 9. And the Theater Curtains is an overlay, so we're going to need to add its corresponding mask. So let's add a masking layer. Grab it, the Theater Curtains Open Mask. And once again, set the aspect to 16 by 9. Now after our curtains open, we also have a, a, curtains, a curtain zoom. So we're going to add that, the Theater Curtain Zoom. Theater curtain zoom. Set our aspect to 16 by 9. And it has a mask as well, so let's add a masking layer. There's its mask. And we'll set the aspect to 16 by 9. Okay, now we need to, to adjust the timing of the, the curtain open and the zooming in. So let's go under effects, motion effects. We'll start with the theater curtain zoom masking layer. If you right click, on keyframe number one, set time for this keyframe, and we want to set that to nine seconds. And we're going to do the same for the theater curtain zoom animation. 
Okay, and for our theater curtains open masking layer, we're going to right click on keyframe number two and set that time to nine seconds. And we're going to repeat for the theater curtains open animation. Okay, and now we have all of our timing set. We are finished. Let's click OK and let's watch what we have. And there you have it.